Africa's National Poet Laureate, internationally acclaimed and widely published poet and liberation struggle veteran Professor Akira Bezo Khosetsila yesterday while in exile. Khosetsila worked in various structures and departments of the African National Congress and was a founding member of the ANC's Department of Arts and Culture and that of Education, of course. And uh, he was widely published with books such as My Name is Africa, uh, This Way I Salute You, if I could sing, and the present is a dangerous place to live. And to talk more about the life and work of Professor Jose Zile, we're joined in studio by Muragabe Rax Siakona, uh, the managing director. And um, yeah, the, the managing director. Now, a very good morning to you, Rax. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, to the viewers at home. Yeah. Now, uh, let's first start off by talking about uh, who, who the professor is. Who really is, is Professor Jose Zile? Well, uh, perhaps we should uh, start off uh, uh, by sending the, our condens uh, condolences to, to the family, Gabra Willi, particularly Umamu, baby, Khosizile, uh, mm -hmm. and to the rest of the family, and of course, uh, comrades and compatriots in the literary world and the political world, in indeed. Um, Bra Willi, as we uh, all knew him, was a, was a, a writer, mm -hmm. a soldier in many senses, not just uh, carrying a gun. Um, though he did, uh, and I'm going to see you and uh, uh, O. Artambo, yeah. um, philosopher, scholar, um, and uh, I'm, I'm quite glad uh, to have known uh, Brawili. I met him um, in the um, uh, late 80s, early 90s, um, as he came from exile to be with us at the Congress of South African Writers, which I was the Secretary General of then. And uh, of course, uh, through uh, him, uh, the organization grew uh, by leaps and bounds um, as he continued to, to help young writers uh, in their quest for, for poetry especially. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Brawili was, uh, was, was beyond uh, just that. Uh, he was quite uh, um, an all-rounder. Um, we uh, were quite blessed uh, at the Writer Associates and the, the South African Literary Awards um, to have worked with him and uh, uh, through that uh, he became our second National Poet Laureate which we bestowed on him as a Sala together with the Department of Arts and Culture and then of course as the Right Associates we honoured honor uh, honor him more by establishing the Kyorapes Hositile Annual Lecture which last year we had the, the third edition of and this year we're going to have a big one mm. as he was uh, going to be turning 80. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, next month, actually. Now, about these lectures that I've just mentioned, why was it important for you to honour him? Well, uh, um, Brawili actually is, uh, if there's such a term, is uh, very much under honoured in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, he is a great giant. Um, when you go to the US, you go to you know across the continent, um, in Europe, in, in Asia. I was just uh, checking the, the Facebook messages uh, 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 last night. Um, he is such a big, uh, such a giant that it's a shame that uh, actually we don't have more than just a lecture in, the, uh, in, in honor of this uh, great giant. Mm. And to many who know him, he's known as the original last poet. What made his poems so timeless? Well, uh, Brawili, um, his poetry was, uh, was the, the ordinary um, lives of, of, uh, of people of this country um, and across the world. Um, you know, his, his poetry uh, uh, expressed uh, the lived experiences, as he, he himself would, would say, of the ordinary men and women in the street. So um, he touched many, many, many lives uh, through his poetry, which uh, uh, people related to uh, very readily. Uh, not uh, like uh, some of the, you know, how high valuing uh, stuff we hear around. Mm. And one of the last recent uh, public appearances was at the Abandu Book Festival held in Soweto, where in young and old literary uh, people came in. Uh, he he was, he's quite a popular uh, figure in the literary space, wasn't he? Very much so. Um, we must thank uh, uh, comrades like uh, Tando Nkolozan for having organized uh, that uh, uh, book fair, the Abandu Book Fair, uh, which uh, Brawili uh, appeared at. And ourselves as the uh, South African Literary Awards and the Right Associates, he, he was there uh, on, 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 the, on the 7th of, uh, of November when we were celebrating the International African Writers Day. We took uh, part in the conference mm -hmm. and then in the evening he, he handed over the, the poetry 
award to the winning uh, uh, the winners of the South African uh, Literary Awards uh, category in poetry. Mm. And in reflecting on his legacy, what can you safely say are some of the fondest memories you have with him, both personally and uh, professionally? Um, the humility of the man. Yeah. Um, he was very humble. He was um, the everyday kind of a guy. You know, this guy was a professor. You know, but um, I think uh, you know his interaction with 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 people was was beyond um, just the you know the normal reference to to terms like a professor. He, mm -hmm. he was a you know he he, he 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 was so wise. He would uh, you know make uh, you feel more important than him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see you carrying uh, one of oh, the yes, most popular yes, 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 yes. If, if, uh, writings. If I could, if I could see, see yeah. yeah, that's uh, the, the the selected poems mm. of uh, of of Brawili. Uh, it's a pity uh, we have very short time, but uh, you know, he's got some of the the gems here, mm. and um, you know the introduction by one of his um, uh, friends and colleagues, uh, Professor Stellan Plump from from the U.S., um, which he described. Uh, the, the, this poem is spending a, a 40 year writing life, exploring mm. a sense of impending impotence, anger, disgust, commitment, joy, love, metaphysical death, birth, confession, mm. loss, and an overriding need to participate concretely in the struggle to liberate the land of his birth. Which one of the poems uh, can you safely say that built you and uh, nurtured you to be what you are today <laughs> and inspired you? You know, when you open the, this book uh, of poetry, Gabra Willy, um, it's, like, uh, it's like you're opening a Bible okay. or, or the Quran. Um, literally, you just open anywhere that you will build you. Um, yeah. The poem that uh, really... Um, made him quite popular, particularly uh, in the younger generation here, is the Red Song, which uh, Vosi Matasela uh, uh, tend to, 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 to song, and also popularized by um, Sandy Lady Kenny, another, another poet. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the one that uh, uh, also moves me quite uh, wonderfully is Origins. Deep in your cheeks, your specific laughter owns all things south of the ghosts mm. we once were. Okay. Straight ahead, the memory beckons from the future. You and I, a tribe of colors. This song that dance, godlike rhythms of uh, to, to to birth, footsteps of memory, the very soul aspires to. Songs of origins, songs of constant beginnings. What? is this thing yeah. called love. One thing about his poems, they are so infectious. Just by listening to you, yeah. I'm inspired already. Yeah. But then, Barax, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, we really appreciate pleasure. your time. So, so, so. All right, there is uh, Barax, the, the managing director of Wright Associates, just uh, recalling and uh, giving us a, a reflection and recollection of his relationship he had with the professor. And now, uh, you know, South Africa is in mourning, and especially our viewers are in mourning as well. Let's now take a look at some of the tweets that have been coming through. Alfie Lehoba says, may your soul rest in peace and Dr. Kositsile, my condolences to the family and friends. And Hopel says, he was a hero through speech and vision, may his soul rest in peace, but his poems and speech live forever. And Fatuani says, may the soul of the legend rest in peace, my sincere condolences to the family, friends and colleagues. Indeed, we do share the same sentiments here at Morning Live and at SABC. And uh, our condolences and our prayers and thoughts are with uh, the family of the late uh, literary giant. Well, let's now take a short break and Morning Live will be right back.